I'm Barrett Hazeltine. Uh, I came to Brown in 1959, and I usually add to that before you were born, uh, and uh, came as an electrical engineering professor and was sort of a plain ordinary electrical engineering professor, and then got interested in other things, in particular got interested in uh, management, and I'm interested in uh, how uh, life can be improved in the third world, and uh, what are the, uh, the people kinds of problems that are really involved in making this work. Creativity in most real world problems is analogies and associations and being able to bring ideas in from many different places. So it seems to me to teach creativity, on the one hand, uh, you've got to give the students just a wide range of experiences that they can draw from. The second part we talked about before, you have to uh, gently and sensitively nurture uh, them to uh, be willing to express their own ideas and, and to be willing to think on their own. Uh, and then I think the third stage in creativity, which is often overlooked, is just talking about it uh, is not the same as doing it. You know, it's like sports. So that you can talk a, a whole lot about uh, whatever sport you do, you, you know, how to play tennis, but unless you're out there with a racket and, and, and all that. And, and, and so I think leaving out that stage really uh, doesn't give the student an opportunity to really understand what creativity is. I think there are, are tremendous rewards, which not everybody realizes, in working with students and seeing them succeed. And uh, one reason you don't always recognize that is because a lot of the success is five or six years later. You get an email or something say, you know, by the way, I was in your class and now I'm doing this and that. And uh, yeah, I, I think that's very rewarding, uh, but, but it's a long-term commitment.